Thank well, you. I think this is our crew for now. Um, I do want to let you know that I heard back from Julia Loeb oh, yes. and they are not going to be starting any new beginner classes next semester. And, but she has offered that I can stay with you for mm -hmm. another semester. We can work on Passover. Um, but I'm only going to have the people stay who have been coming regularly because we haven't had great attendance. And so if we're going to do this, we're going to do this with people who are committed. So there are a few people who cannot be here today, but you know, basically you've had to have had good attendance. So we will continue. There are, there is one Friday. I know I'll be gone and we're not starting till February. Okay. Um, so that, and there may be other people joining our class if other uh, intermediate teachers don't want to continue. So I don't know for now, but <clears throat> but they said they heard you. So, and you're not the only Thank class you. who's asked. So it's wonderful. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you, Debbie. I would love it. to do it. Yes. Okay. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Let me just say something. Kind of Beza, who has not, I, she's not on yet. She takes her husband to dialysis on mm -hmm. Fridays. She is very interested. Who is this? In Karen Glazer. Okay. And um, it depends upon what time they take him. So she's got to come home got and it. get on the computer. So please, even though she's missed a couple of classes, please consider her in the bunch. You know, we can talk about timing. I've done 1.30 if we need to maybe move it to two o'clock. You know, we can we put out a poll for the class and decide. I do Macomb Biyahad at 12 o'clock Eastern time. So then um, I need to have time to eat lunch and get back on. But if, you know, if we find out, um, then, you know, we, that we, it would help people. So we'll see how it goes. My um, daughter-in-law just sent me the recipe, so I'll send it to you all. Thank okay. you. By the way, one, I mean, if you need to do uh, two, that's fine with me. I love the fact that it's the afternoon because I try to get uh, most of my conference calls in in the morning. Um, and then after we finish, I kind of, you know, wrap up things before the weekend. But uh, I love Friday afternoons. I would love that we keep it then. Yeah, it's right. also in the spit of the Shabbat. Right. Yeah, yeah that's it's like a, it's a, it's an entrance into Shabbat. I mean, it feels like you're in the mood already. Exactly. You know? You know, we were just talking about we're going to be extending, we're going to go another semester. And um, this in behalf of <laughs> we'll just see timing wise. I mean, I don't want to go too late because it is we're getting ready for Shabbat. And um, but if it means that, you know, people who had trouble getting on at 1 30 could do it at two, then I'm happy to move it around. So um, and Jamie just came on. Jamie, we are extending another semester for intermediate. <clears throat> so, so I'm glad you're all here because today is Ashray. <laughs> Let me tell you a little bit about Ashray, which <clears throat> Ashray will be on page 78 in Slim Sim Shalom and in the thicker Sim Shalom, page 152. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> Ashray. It's recited at least three times daily, <clears throat> twice during Shacharit, the morning service, and once during Mincha, the afternoon service. The prayers composed of Psalm 145, completely, and Psalm <clears throat> 84, line 5, and Psalms 144, line 15, added to the beginning, and Psalms 115, line 18, added to the end. <clears throat> the first two verses that are added both start with the Hebrew word ashray, which means happy, praiseworthy, or fortunate, hence the prayer's name. <clears throat> On verse 16, it says, poteach et yadecha, your yad, your yad <clears throat> to open your hand. And this is the most important verse, and the universal practice is that it must be said with such concentration on its meaning and sincerity. And my Rabbi, sometimes you'll see people open their hand when they get to poteach et yadecha. So it's a custom. Apparently, this is a Mizrahi custom 
to lift up one's hand as if you're receiving a gift from God. Yeah. So um, ashray is about three concepts. People are happy when they're close to God. God cares about the poor and the oppressed. God rewards good behavior and punishes evil. Mm -hmm. Some people take that to an extreme. If something bad happens to someone, they say, oh, but they must have done something bad. Bad stuff happens to good people. It's not because they're bad necessarily. This prayer is entirely, entirely praising God. We don't ask for anything in this prayer. It's just praising God, which I've realized is so much of our liturgy is all about praising God. So if you don't know what a prayer means and somebody asks, oh, what does this daily prayer mean? If you say praising God, you're probably 100% accurate. So how many of you are familiar with Ashray? How many of you love Ashray? Who love reading Ashray? <laughs> My can husband, I, go ahead. Can I explain why? Sure. Years, years ago, I took a, uh, through my former synagogue, took a Hebrew reading class and I was the only one that showed up for it. So I had six hours of very intense instruction. And last person who, who taught the final two hours was our rabbi. And he said to me, I think you're good enough to join our B'nai Mitzvah class, which was exactly what I wanted to do. And he told me when they meet, and I said, great, I'll be there. And I walked into what was my first session. And what were they learning? Ashray. And I mean, six hours of instruction crammed into one day really doesn't teach you to read Hebrew. I mean, I remembered some of it. And this is not an easy prayer. And it's this also is, long. This is one and, of the hardest. And I said to myself, you know, I got through it. I went through my, through the B'nai Mitzvah. But every time I come to Ashray, that memory pops up in my head. Well, let's see if we can change that for you. Um, <laughs> My husband doesn't like to volunteer for Torah service because he has to do ashray. So tomorrow he needs to be out of the sanctuary for something. And he said, will you cover the second half of Torah service? I said, yeah, you just want out of, out of ashray, but it's not true. So <laughs> it's, it's not so hard. What's hard is singing it and the multi-syllabic syllabic words are challenging. So we're going to jump in um so i figured what we do is we would do and if you also notice it's in alphabetical order aleph bet gimel dalet hey vav zayn chet tet yud kaf no no haf because they're the same letter lamed mem there's no nun samich ayin pei fei tzadi kuf and then there's no resh or shin or sin but it's mostly alphabetical order so what we'll do is uh, the first two ashray lines, and then we'll just do couplets, two lines, and we'll have somebody take, two people take the lines and then flip-flop. So you're only reading small sections. Does that make sense? Two lines at a time. All right. Would somebody like to go be the first two guinea pigs? I'll do it. All right. How about Nancy and Gail? Nancy, take the first yay, ashray. What? I said, yay, we're teamed. All right. <laughs> Okay. Um, oh, I need my reading glasses. <clears throat> oh, yes. Okay. So, bear with me. Here we go. Ashre Yoshre Vetecha Ode Yahalu Luha. Yeah. Stella. Ashre Ha'am She uh, I see. That's supposed I to be two ah uh, vowels. It got cut off. Okay. Shaha Ka. That's not right. Switch it. Shakaha. Lo. Right. Ashre Ha'am 
Shay, who? So this uh, is a word you can't pronounce. Right. How do you say it? That's God's no name. Vowels. Oh, right. What do you mean I can't pronounce it? Adonai. Shay Adonai. Yeah. Alo. Hello. Hello. It's hard to see the vowels. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't know why. Hold on. Let me see if I can fix that slightly. That's better for me. Hold on. I'm going By the to... way, if you guys have left Shalem, uh, it's page uh, 181. All right. So um, will you read that now? What we'll do is we'll do, yeah, we'll do two lines. Okay. Go for it, Gail. All right. Tihila le David. Aromim, aromimcha Elohai Hamelech Baavar. Simcha Leolam Vaed Behol Yom Avar Checha Ve Ahal La Simcha Leolam Vaed. Good. Let's look at that middle word with all the ahs. Va Ahal Ve Ahala. I always say it va'ahalala, va'ahal. So it's technically va'ahala, but I've also heard it va'ahalala. So technically, the shva on the lamid is silent, but I'm not going to, you know, no one's got the pronunciation. Please is not coming after you, okay. but that's a tricky one. Uh, All right, uh, you want to, Rhoda? I have a question. Again, I'm not. Familiar. I, I don't. I'm. I should learn the letters, but I don't. When you have the, you have um, va'ahalla, and then you had um, something very similar, and it ends with a chai. So why? What is? What is it? It's the same vowel and the same letters, but one ends in chai, and one is la. Well, because this is just a hey. So it's going to end is in the other one. The other one I'm is a hey. Trying to well. find it. You, it was it, in this it was, prayer. It was, it was a, oh, you know what it is. You, oh, I see what it is. I, 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 I've got, I've mixed it up. I see. Yes, I'm good. Thank you. Sorry. I'm glad you are because I don't know where you are. <clears throat> where okay, so okay. she's on one, two, three, fourth line. Yeah, right. Third word. Hello, no, so yes. hi. Okay, yes, yes because yeah. of the vowel. Yeah, I, I, and I the yud. Confused. Okay, got that. Perfect. Good. Thank you. All right, I you want to switch? I have a question. Yes, Mary. Um, I wrote, I wrote, um, I thought I heard Aro Memcha. Uh, I've always said Aro Memcha. Mem uh, but I wanted to see how do you say it, Debbie? Aro Memcha. Because the uh, Shva doesn't get its own sound. It's not its separate syllable. It gets, if two, two vowels go a walking, the first one does the talking. So say that one more time, please. Aro Memcha. Ha. Okay, my whole life I've heard it. Aro mem uh ha. Okay. Well, and the same thing, I've always heard it va'avra ha. Va'avar ha. Va'avar. Yeah. So when people sing it, sometimes things get drawn out and yeah. yeah. So, no, so I've always heard it aro mem ha, and you're saying it aro mem ha. Yep. One one less syllable. Thank you. All uh, right, you want to switch, uh, Gail and Nancy? Sure. Ashrei Yoshvei Veitecha Od Yehal Lelu Ha Sela Ashrei Ha'am She Ha Ha Lo Ashrei Ha'am She Shav donoi elohav. Good job. Thank you. Tehila the the David. Good, David. Yes, I, I thought. <laughs> wait a minute. That's what it is. Okay. All right. Aro mimcha. Elohai 
Hamela va a barcha shimcha leolam va ag. Do I read the next? Yep, keep going. Behol yom avar kecha va a Actually, it's va avar kecha. Okay, avar. Ah, now I'm thinking. Avar kecha, because if it's. Hold on a second. Where is another one? I always mix them up. I think it's a, if I think it's ka because it's down below. Oh, ka. They need to run up a flag on this when they do. <laughs> you know, like, watch out. Okay, avar ka ka. You yeah. said yeah. That's crazy. Va ahal la simcha. I'm just checking because I know there's another prayer that for sure has the ka, and I just want to check it. It's in morning prayer. Um, I've never isn't it <clears throat> Shimha? It is Shimha. It's hard for me to hear if they're saying Shimha or Simha, but it is Shimha. Did I, okay, did I not say yes. something? It's hard to tell. So this is ma'ase ka. That's a ka. See where the yeah the, the vowel is down below. Ma'ase ka. Sorry, avar ka up here up here. Uh, see how the vowel is okay. down below. Okay. If you come, you'll see them later. It's inside. If it's down below, it's ka. If it's up inside the chet, final chet, it's ka. Got it. <laughs> All right. Oh. <clears throat> yes. <clears throat> It is Shimha, <clears throat> but it's hard to tell sometimes. So, all right. Shimha. Nice job. And Gail, I think those Hebrew lessons paid off. <clears throat> they certainly have last year. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Two more volunteers to do the next four. Linda, who would like to go with Linda? Thank you, Mary. <clears throat> no, I don't know why. Oh, la. Oh, well, can you put the ending on that? Um, who? <clears throat> la, la. There's two lamids. Um, who, la, la. <clears throat> um, who, la. Good. Um, who, la, la. Oh. How? Is... You're right. Okay. Mode, the big, do la toe. Put the ending on? Yeah. Hey, well, care. Good. He care. I want to go back to the fourth word. Can you try that one again? Mo. Ma'od. Ma'od. Good job. I think before you said Moe. Different word, but you got it this time. Good job. <clears throat> Dua Ledua Vesha Ba Ma A Seha Ug Vu Rotecha Yagi. Do. Excellent. More. You're up, Mary. Nope, Mary's turn. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Adar Kavod Udecha Vidivre Miflotecha Asika. The Ezus, the Ezus or the Ezus, the Ezus, the Ezus, nor no, nor a temple. You may, you may, you may rule. You got a lot. Hold on one second. 
Ugd du lak ha? Yes, Ugd du lat ha, because that shva doesn't get its own syllable. Ugd du lat ha. Ugd du lat ha, asa prina. Asa prina. Asa prina. Interesting letters. Good job. All right, flip flop. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, Wait. want me to start? Where did where did you start? Uh, where, Linda, you started with Gadol. No, yes. she started with Gadol. Want me to go back to right. that? You're back to that. Very good. Uh, Gadol, Adonai, Um Hulal, Miod, Vilig Dulato, Ain, Heker, uh, Dor. Lador Yeshapa Maasecha <clears throat> Ug. Let me just look. Got it. Ug Virotecha Yagidu. Beautiful. All right, Linda. Hada. Kavod Hodecha Fadiv Ray Nif Lotecha Asi Ha Ba Ve E Zeus, <laughs> Noor, Teha, Ume, Ru. So Klaus, check out the beginning letter of that word. Yo, Yo, Me, Ru. Good job. U, U, Do, Late, U, Do, Late. Wait. Ooh, do. La. Ha. Good. Asa. Ray. Nah. Good job. All right. We're on Zayin. Jamie, and who will be Jane? Are you volunteering or asking a question, Jamie? I'm <laughs> volunteering. I have a question on the last word, too. Yes, go ahead. Yomaru. I, that's we hear that a lot. Yomaru, Yomaru. What what does that mean? Anybody? Yomeru. Um, um so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, third line. Um oh, you want to know where it is? No, I'm looking. Um <laughs> Yomaru. I don't know. May all of your children be worthy of you. May all who claim to love you be a blessing. And <laughs> we're going to read it in English when we're done. But okay, okay. Good question. All right. So who will be Jamie's partner? Rhoda, thank you. So Jamie, you're starting with Zeher. Zeher Rav Tubecha Tubach. I always forget why why it should, why it should be Tubacha or Tubach. Oh, so wait, that's the, when it's Noach or something like that. So the Vav, the Shvat, doesn't get its own syllable. It tags on to U. To, oh, so it is Tuvach then. Tuvcha. Tuvcha. Yeah. <clears throat> Yavienu. Yeah, being a one more time. Yeah. A lot of letters in there. Hold on, I got up. Sure. I locked them out. Aw, isn't that strategic of me? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I figured that was Elijah coming for lunch. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he looks just like me. A lion. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Be yeah, 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 you. 
Yeah, B U. Good job. That Aleph is silent. Why we need it, I don't know, but we do. Wow. What was I saying? No, what you were the... you were trying to figure it out. Okay, yeah, B U. Um but Kateha <coughs> Yaranu Yara Yara Good job. <coughs> Hanuna, the Rahim, Rahim. Check out that last vowel, Vera. The dots in the stomach. So if you get hit in the stomach, you go, ooh. Oh, you went mute. You muted. <clears throat> You're still muted. I mean, ask you to unmute. <clears throat> now you're. We can't see you or hear you. <clears throat> Meanwhile, David, can you make it bigger script? I really have different. Sure. Thank you. I can't promise you that it's not going to be harder to read. All Sorry, right. I got you're muted. Back. Yeah, I don't know the cause trying to ignore it. And then all of a sudden I got muted. So is somebody going instead? Oh, it's you. Oh, it's you. All right. Hanun. Um, the Rahum. Rahum. Adonai. Eracha. Apayim. Ug. Dal said. Yeah, look at Oog, look at the vowel under Dalid. It's that line with the dot. Uh do Oog do. Yep. Huh. Chasad. Yeah, and you know what? When I sing it, Hanun Varahum Adonai, Eracha Paim Ugdal Chasad. I guess I do. I just didn't think about Ugdal, Ugdal. It's it's a very kind of it's pin and pen. You know, it's like a very not easy to hear. Good mm. job, Jamie. All right, Rhoda. Okay. Tov. You got this, girl. Oh, yeah. Tov Adonai. Lakol. Varaham. Varahama. Vara. Just wait. Vara. Varam. Oh, my goodness. Varahamav. Good job. Al Kal Maasav. Um, Look at the. I'm not quite sure how you pronounce the vowel under the cough, second to last word. Oh, Cole. Sorry. There you go. Okay. I, it's very hard for me to see the difference. It's. It, I have a magnifying glass I'm working with. It's still not helping. Uh, okay. Was the last word okay? Yep. Maasav. Okay, you got okay. it. Okay. Yoducha Adonai Kal. Maasecha Vachas Decha. One more time. Okay. Vahasi Vahasi Decha. There you go. Okay. Yavar Kucha. Good job. Okay. And now All I have, right. to, I have to go Let's to the back up to the Zion. Okay, you want to point to where the Zion? Let me just find here. Okay. Um, okay, I'm, I'm okay. I'm reading from the prayer book. I'm, I'm not got reading it. from the screen. It's I hard can't even tell you what line. They're not numbered. Yeah, I know. Okay. So I think it's Zechar. <laughs> you Zechar. got it. Zechar. Yep. Um, Rav uh, Tuv Tuvcha uh, Yabi Yabiu. Is that is that okay? You got it. Okay. Um, but seed cut ha, um, yarane nu, uh, han, ah, okay, this is interesting. Okay, han, hanuz, yeah, hanuz. Look at the last letter. That's uh -huh. a final. Okay, hanun, hanun. They got, you got okay. it. Um, varahum, adonai. Eric. But what's the ending? 
Well, I'm, I, you know, I, I, it must be a rune. I, I, it, is it? A, I, it looks like the like the cha, but it's not the. Is it the cha or it's, not? It's cha. You're right. It but is there's cha, no so, sense. So it's a, so, but it's so it's a. It's just a rech. Erech. Got got it. Okay. Apayim. Um. Ugdal. No. Ugdol. Uh, chased. Excellent job. All right. Tov Adonai. Lekol, Verachmav, Verachamav. There you go. Al Kol Maastav. Good job. Yod Ucha. I'm Adonai. Ko maasecha again vaha vahas odacha. Right again, but what? Vahis, no, vahas didacha. There you go. It's a weird word. Yav yavar hucha. Good job. And if you notice a lot of these rhyme, ma'asecha, vachasidecha. So once you get to know them well enough, you kind of know, oh, they rhymed. Maybe just those two, but you'll see it come up a little bit more. Nice job so far. I'm going to move the screen up. Um, we have Kaf and Lamed next, and then Mem and Samech. Do we have any other volunteers? <clears throat> Thank you, Karen. Would someone partner with Karen? Okay. Thanks, Arena. So Karen starts with Kavod. Kavod Malchu Tsucha Yomeru Ug Vorotecha Yada Beru Lichodia Livne Ha Adam Givorotach. No, Gavuro Tav Uk Vod Hadar Malhuto. Sure, you haven't read this before. All right, it's Irina's turn, and then you'll flip flop. Hard to follow. Mal Mal Hutaha Mal Hut. Well, I'm sorry, call, call, call a meme. Um, 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 shall deha be call door, door by door. Good job. The word before that, make sure it's bechol, not bechol. I know it's so hard. No, it's hard. It doesn't, the ch just doesn't feel natural. Bechol, door, door. Good job. So, so meha adonai. What I go back, look at the ending. There's no vowel inside of that. <clears throat> so mech. There you go. Adonai. <laughs> Lehol. What the heck is it? It's in Hanif Lim. So close. Look at the vowel above Nun. Oh, Hanof Lim. Good. Where the cave? I'm not sure the Where's a cave? Li Hall. Um, Kung Fu film. Good job. Will you flip and you start up at Kaf? Um, Kawad Mal Utecha Omeru Ug. Ugu, Ugu, 
Rataha Id uh, Id Idamru. One more time. Idamru. That's a bet. Oh, I'm sorry. Ida Beiru. Good job. Ida Beiru. Leha D. Leha D. A. 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 Uh, wood a door mal mal hood to good job mal hood to ha mal hood call olamim Umem shaltaka bichol dor vador. So mech adonoi lechol hanoflim vizokef lechol hakafufim. Nice job. All right, looks like we have just a few lines left to finish Ashray. Would someone like, does anybody, has anybody not had a turn? All right, so would somebody like a second turn, starting with the Ayin word? <clears throat> I'll have a second at some point. Okay. <laughs> Before we get to the end, Jamie, we'll find you. Irina, is that a hand up or a question? No, hands up. But All also, right. I, I don't think that Mary did not have a chance to read. Did you read? Did I, you was have a chance? I was in the first or second batch. All right. So Irina and Gail, why don't you take the next two sets and then I'll move it up because I see it's cut off. <clears throat> Where do we start? Gail, why would you start to need a breath? A a lecha vesh Careful, it's not a vav. It's a little teeny letter. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> Beiru, they are uh, ta, no, no tain, la, hem, et, o, o, lam, be, ye, to. Oh, I gotta do another one, right? That's right. Po, te, ya. Et ya deha um umma umas via le le ho hai ra ra song. Nice job. Thank you. All right, Arena. Um. Sadik Adonai Be Hall Der Hov Ve Hasid Ve Hasid Ve Hasid Be Hall Ma Sav Karov Adonai Lehol Kor Av Lehol Asher Ikra Unu Ikra Uhu Met. Nice job. I love that second to last word. Yikra uhu. Always sounds like there's an owl in the synagogue. Uhu. 
<laughs> Good job. All right, Irina, back up to Ayin. It's Ayin? It's an A. 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 Oh, it's the letter Ayin. Well, A. 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 Isa Beiru Veata Nutain La La M at Aholam Be Ito Po Po Say hi. Careful, that last letter is tricky. It looks like it should be hi, but if yeah. it comes at the end, it's flip flop to yeah. ach. Yeah, so much to learn. Ote ach. Oh, no, yeah. You got it. Ote ach. Et ya deha vemas vemas. Careful, check out that first is not above this time. It's about Umas B B A Le Hall Hi. I was very careful. Ra on. One more time. Ra Ra Ratsom Ratson. Good job. All right. Uh, it's me. Okay, yeah. Sadiq Adonoi Beho De Ra Ha Ve Ha Seed Beho Ma Asa Karo Adonoi Leho Ho Rob, ho, kor, av, leho, asher, yik, ra, u, u, be, emet. Good job. And if you go up two lines, there's poteach et yadecha, where you put out your hand to God, that God's giving you a gift. All right, let me move this up because our last two lines got moved out of the way. All right, um, hold on, there's a little bit more. So Jamie, I'm giving you this last three lines because you said you wanted one before the end. It's yours, sister. Thank you. <laughs> um, what an honor. So there's a book, Rabbi Nach, and he did a lot of little books and it has two hands stretched out gentle wisdom i think it's called i don't know if my you can see my hands but he has two hands wet stretched out i always thought that was more of a christian thing but now that you're saying nope put out that you're like you're asking like we're not asking god we're praising god and we're going to read it in english and see what it says yeah okay um to he lots i don't know P. One more time with the part before that. Uh, bear P. Good. Oh, that's speaking. There. Okay. Um, Vivarech, Vivarech, Ko, Basar. Kolbasar, Shem, Kudsho, Kudsho. Actually, Code Show. It's but I never uh, hear anybody say Code Show. But say okay, Code Show. Leilam Bayet. Vanachnu, Vanachnu. Um. Never. Yeah. Is that yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. 
Meata Vayet Olam Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. Nice job, ladies. You did it in the allotted time. Now let's find out what it means in English. And I also want to show you, I'm going to make it a little smaller just to be able to show you. I've kind of uh, moved it around a little bit, but if you look how it starts, the lines get shorter and then the lines get longer, even though it's the same amount of singing. So but when we get down here, it's You have to take a lot of words and put it into that same amount of singing. And it's tricky. So now I will make it readable again. And would someone like to read it um, in English for us? <clears throat> I'd be happy to. Okay. Thank you, Mary. And I'll get us done in three minutes. Um, with happiness to be in your house, to sing your praise, to belong to your people. What happiness to worship God. My God, why God, uh, I will praise you always. Day after day will I extol you. God is infinite and awesome, beyond all praise and all description. Age after age, your works are praised, your power is felt, your deeds are lauded. I too am touched by your glory, the wonders of your creation. Some may ask of you only in awe, but I speak of you with immense joy. The very mention of your goodness yields delight. God is gracious and kind, patient and very loving, good to everyone, compassionate to all creatures. May all your children be worthy of you. May all who claim to love you be a blessing. May they honor your sovereignty by declaring your power, by showing the splendor of your godliness. Your realm is the unbounded cosmos. Your reign endures throughout eternity. God upholds all who falter and lifts up all the downtrodden. All eyes must look to you with hope, satisfy our needs in due time. Your hand is always ready to fill all life with joy. You are just in every way, loving in every gesture. You are near to all who call upon you, to all who call upon you with integrity. May God always hear the prayer of the pious, always answer their pleas, come to their aid. May God guard every loving soul and destroy all wickedness. May my own lips other God's praise. May all people worship God always. May all of us praise God now and forever. Hallelujah. Thank you, I, Mary. And if you look, I have, to tell, you. I have to tell you, yeah. I've been reading this prayer forever. Um, and uh, it's only now and I've read the English before, but when I was reading it out loud, it really hit me. It's Your really hand is always ready to fill all life with joy. Poteach et yadecha. So this really is all about praising God. Um, so but, I think it's. But also, I think when we put the hands, it's not we give, and it's more as when you receive it. Because when right. you put hands, it's not to give, it's to receive. So I'm not sure that. Well, but. But you also are giving when you put your hand out to give to somebody, um, you know, here, have this. So it's a give and take, right? It's a two way relationship. Ladies, that's fantastic. That is not that is one of people will say one of the hardest prayers and you made it. Now it's, it goes a lot faster in shul. Um, Thank you. And uh, but, you know, you can keep up and every week you just work a little bit. Um, if you go, I know I, when I started a year ago, when my dad died working on the repetition of the Mita, I thought there is no way I can do this. But little by little, I'm still working on it, but little by little, I pick up another word every time we go to shul. And I, I okay, can I get a third word? Can I get a fourth word? After a year, you pick up a lot of words. So fantastic. What's up for our last class? I'm going to give you a choice. Um, we can do Alenu or Adon Olam. So we'll decide next time what you'd rather do. Um, so for those of you that weren't on at the beginning, um, we are going to extend this class another semester starting wow. in February. Um, 
I already know there's one Friday I'll be out of town, but it's gonna be a longer semester, February, March, April, and we'll probably finish in May. Um, we'll probably work on, you know, we'll see who's in the class and what people, I mean, for sure we'll work on Passover things, but I don't think we need to start, well, we might need to start Passover. We'll start Passover because by the time we get through things, we'll get to, you know, Seder time. So we'll pick up with Passover and um, make Purim. our way through. What? I said there's also Purim. Purim. Yeah. No, should I, that, I mean, should I we're not going to read Megillah, I'll tell you that. <laughs> should I figure we're starting on February 3rd? I don't know. I haven't been told yet. Okay. Sure. I have a request. What? Since I was not able to be at the um, sessions when you taught how and when to to bow and how to um, take the steps, is that something you could help me? We could go back over for the bar who? I mean, that's a that's the big one. Yes, we'll go back over that. I mean, I'll just tell you know we could talk about it, but yes, we'll go back. I'll write that down to look at bar who um, before we start the last prayer of York that you guys vote on. Um, um your father. Go ahead, Arena. No, uh, Amal Rahim, like uh, also morning prayer. Amal Rahim, if we can read. Mar Rahim, I don't know if I. Well, maybe what I page is that on? Maybe I mispronounced. Let me just. No, go oh, ahead. I'll just check. Right now. You let me know what it is. I'm sorry, what somebody else was saying? Oh, did, did your father pass this year? Uh, it, will, it will be a year because it's a leap year this year. He died. December 7th, but because we added a leap month, um, it's actually the end of the month. Um, yes, yeah, so he passed away last year. Um, and, you know, I wanted to honor his memory by going to Minion, which I did, and I find it, you know, very spiritual, and the Minioneers were very supportive. But now I've become, you know, I've learned to daven services, and the people who daven in are they're in their 70s and 80s. It's a lot every, you know, they, they do it five mornings a week total. And I feel like I need to pull my weight. I need to be there. I need to be there helping lead for other people who need it. So it's been a wonderful experience and it's a nice way to start your day. Did you find it, Arena? El Malech Rahamim. El Malech Rahamim. That is one that's only done you oh um is at funerals generally do you do them in your service no yeah it's um it's and i haven't learned it but we um my family we did my father's unveiling in august um we didn't have the rabbi there because we're skilled as a family and my son read it i haven't learned the singing of that one yet but that's it's fine it was just it's beautiful it's just it's something usually uh, reserved for funerals. We have um, we do that on occasion. There's one particular congregant um, who has a beautiful voice, and if she's in services and they would like it done, she'll come up on the bema and sing it. And it it's it's truly beautiful, but that's not all that often. I think it's also. I want to say another another tune that comes from the High Holidays, but um, it is very pretty tune. I just haven't learned it yet. I'll get there. Yep. I worked on Mismor La David, which you also sing at the funeral. So um, slowly but surely, working my way there. Um, so I'm excited that next time I see you, it will still be Hanukkah. But I wish you all a very happy, healthy, and warm Hanukkah. Because gosh knows all. most of us need it. <laughs> yes, bye, bye everyone. Bye. Bye, bye Linda. Bye. Happy everyone. And I'll keep you posted with more information about next semester when I get it. Uh, Debbie, right. just one thing. Will we have yes. to register for it? Are we are are we going to be automatically uh, uh, accepted as into the next uh, session? Uh, let me look and see if I if she said anything about that. That was um, one. Like if we tell you we're going to be there, is that good enough? Right. Um, give me a minute to find your seat. I would I imagine we're going to have to set up some type of a code okay. for the class so that Debbie can get paid. 
Ugh. This is all done. We don't get paid. We are not at all. No, no. I thought you um, got something. Nope. So um, they're going to open up registration to anyone that is not currently taking. They are not going to open it to anybody taking a class. Um, so I don't think it's it, needs registration because what you said is like all of the past. So she just allowed you to do something. So it does not seem like it goes through the regular channel. So they, I think they're going to be sending this out to everybody. She said Sunday or Monday, they didn't get to it yet, but it will be coming out. I don't know if it's going to be in the women's league week, but you will have to sign up because they'll have to put you into classes and then send the, the link. We have to sign um, up. Right. Nancy? I would like, I don't know that I would get that I get that mail, but I would certainly want, I want to be in the class. So how do I look for it? Well, so, um, I, so you, <laughs> it would look like this. Um, mm, let me find one. Give me a second, just so you know what to look for. Okay. Because if you are a member of women, you have to be a member of Women's League to be in this class right your synagogue here's, here's an example of what it looks like right well i'm yeah okay and it will have all so what i'll do is when i get the next one it usually comes out on tuesdays um when i get the next one i will forward it to all of you oh that'd be great thank you so much um, That's but i will does anybody know for sure they get it? I do. I, I, I get it, but I don't always open it, unfortunately. I, All just... right. So Mary and Rhoda, I won't. I will have the rest of your names checked out with uh, with Debbie Goldich to say, hey, can you make sure they're receiving it? Also check your spam um, right. because sometimes it might go to your spam. But um, there's so much going on. It's incredible. So coming up next week it's too late i think to sign up for the painting but they're going to have menorah lighting a week from i think it's thursday night where you can sign up for the link and light the menorah because we have women who have are alone and have no one to light with them oh, wow. and then there's a paint and sip afterwards where you could order um painting materials and drink wine and paint but I think you can still register for the it's Thursday, December uh, 2nd, 22nd at 7 p.m. So Ooh. I will put I'll drop this in the chat. And if you want to sign up. Um, I, thank you. You can't get the kit anymore. It's too late, but you can come on and do candle lighting with everyone. That'd be great. So. Wonderful. Well, thank you, ladies. Happy Hanukkah, and I'll see you next week. You too. Happy Hanukkah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.